Yaveri Kaguta Museveni before he captured power in 1986. In the mid to late 1990s, Museveni was celebrated by the West as part of a new generation of African leaders. During Museveni's presidency, Uganda has experienced relative peace and significant success. Museveni's presidency has been marred by involvement in the Congo Wars, the Rwandan Civil War, and other Great Lakes region conflicts, the rebellion in northern Uganda by the Lord's Resistance Army, which caused a humanitarian emergency, and the suppression of political opposition and constitutional amendments scrapping presidential term limits and the presidential age limit. On 16 January 2021, the Electoral Commission of Uganda announced that Museveni won re-election for a sixth term with 58.6% of the vote, despite allegations of electoral fraud, violent suppression of the opposition, and human rights abuses. Museveni was born on 15 September 1944 to parents M. Z. Amos Kaguta. Museveni gets his middle name from his father, M. Z. Amos Kaguta. Kaguta is also the father of Museveni's brother Caleb Akandwanaho, popularly known in Uganda as Salim Sala, and sister Violet Kajubiri. His family migrated to Aintangamo, Uganda Protectorate. Museveni attended Kiamat Elementary School, Umbarra High School, and Ainte School. In 1967, he went to the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. There, he studied economics and political science and became a Marxist, involving himself in radical pan-African politics. While at university, he formed the University Students African Revolutionary Front Activist Group and led a student delegation to FRELIMO territory in Portuguese Mozambique, where he received guerrilla training, studying under the leftist Walter Rodney. Among others, Museveni wrote a university thesis on the applicability of Franz Fanon's ideas on revolutionary violence to post-colonial Africa. The exile forces opposed to Amin invaded Uganda from Tanzania in September 1972 and were repelled, suffering heavy losses. In October, Tanzania and Uganda signed the Mogadishu Agreement that denied the rebels the use of Tanzanian soil. For aggression against Uganda, Museveni broke away from the mainstream opposition and formed the Front for National Salvation in 1973. In August of the same year, he married Janet Cutter. In October 1978 Ugandan troops invaded the Kagera salient in northern Tanzania, initiating the Uganda-Tanzania War. Tanzanian President Julius Nyerere ordered the Tanzania People's Defense Force to counterattack and mobilized Ugandan dissidents to fight Amin's regime. Museveni was pleased by this development. In December 1978 Nyerere attached Museveni and his forces to Tanzanian units under Brigadier Silas Mayunga, with the overthrow of Amin in 1979 and the contested election that returned Milton Obot to power. In 1980, Museveni returned to Uganda with his supporters to gather strength in their rural strongholds in the Bantu-dominated South and Southwest to form the Popular Resistance Army. The insurgency began with an attack on an army installation in the central Mubende district on 6 February 1981. The PRA later merged with former President Yusufu Lule's fighting group, the Uganda Freedom Fighters, to create the National Resistance Army and the former Uganda National Army. Engaged Obot's forces, the FUNA was formed in the West Nile subregion from the remnants of Amin's supporters. The NRA NRM developed a 10-point program for an eventual government covering democracy, security, consolidation of national unity, defending national independence, building an independent, integrated, and self-sustaining economy, improvement of social services, elimination of corruption and misuse of power, redressing inequality, cooperation with other African countries, and a mixed economy. The Central Intelligence Agency World Factbook estimates that the Obot regime was responsible for more 100,000 civilian deaths across Uganda. On 27 July 1985, subfactionalism within the Uganda People's Congress government led to a successful military coup against Obot by his former army commander, Lieutenant General Tito Okio, Anna Choli, 
Museveni and the NRM, NRA were angry that the revolution for which they had fought for four years had been hijacked by the UNLA, which they viewed as having been discredited by gross human rights violations during Obot II. Despite these reservations, however, the NRM, NRA eventually agreed to peace talks presided over by a Kenyan delegation headed by President Daniel Arap Mua. The talks, which lasted from 26 August to 17 December, were notoriously acrimonious and the resultant ceasefire broke down almost immediately. The final agreement, signed in Nairobi, called for a ceasefire, demilitarization of Kampala, integration of the NRA and government forces, and absorption of the NRA leadership into the military council. These conditions were never met. While involved in the peace negotiations, Museveni was courting General Mobutu Sese, 